Hi everyone, uh, I'm Babatone here. Uh, today uh, I'm going to show you one of the games that are actually unique to Africa. It's a game that I have, in the history I've never read or seen it being played in any other country. So I want to show you how it's been played. It's a very popular game, especially in the western part of uh, Nigeria, which is actually the Yoruba part of uh, Nigeria. So uh, the game is called Ayo, usually called Ayo, or some people call it Okpo. When you hear something like uh, Ayo or Okpo, that's exactly what I what it means. So today I'm going to show you how it's been played and now uh, the skills that are involved in uh, in playing it. Also, uh, Mr. Mike and I are going to play it. So I'm going to teach him how to play it, and we're going to play it just to entertain you guys. Thank you very much. It's a very wonderful game. You guys are really going to love it. It's a wonderful game. Now, playing the game is very, very simple. You put four seeds in each hole. Four seeds in each, in each hole. Six holes for the other player and uh, the other six holes for the uh, opponent. That means it is fully ready to be played now. It's a beautiful game. And it involves a lot of calculation and skills. Now, once all the seeds are ready now, either player can start the game. Depending on what you are doing, it doesn't matter. There's no advantage or disadvantage to starting the game or uh, seconding the game. It doesn't matter. No advantage or disadvantage. So, you could pick from any of the holes, whichever, one, whichever strategy that you want to use. So, you pass the seed anti-clockwise that goes you the game goes anti-clockwise that is why that's how it is being played so after the once you've uh, distributed your own our seed then the partner the opponent you also pick their whichever one they choose here let's assume the opponent picks this so that then the next thing you also pick your own Now the next question is going to be when do you win seeds? Because uh, the objective of this game is for you to win as much seeds as possible. Once you win enough seeds that covers your hole once the game is ended and you have any left. But if you all want the same number of seeds, that means that the game is uh, tied. The game is tied. There's your bad time for it. So that means the game is tied. That means no winner and uh, to be replayed. So how do you uh, win seats? It's very, very simple. To win seats now, let's assume we have one seat here. We have one seat here, one here, one here, uh, two here, like this. And, and I'll start moving this. Let's assume we have uh, six seats here. Okay, I think it's six. And I play it, I distribute it around like this. Uh, three, four, five, six. Once the last seed that I distributed lands in a hole that contains one or two seeds, once the last seed that I distributed lands in a hole that contains one or more seeds, that means that I've actually won all the seeds in that hole. So for this one, I've won these seeds. These seeds have been now won now. Now, because the previous one before the last one also contains one seed, before I dropped it and added to make it two seeds, I've also won this. This one, the same thing, I've also won this. That means that I've won seven seeds. For example, if the last one I dropped made the seeds in the hole to become four, that means that I've not won any seed. I've not won any seed, including the previous ones uh, that, was, uh, that was correct. What determines whether you win or not is the last seed that you drop. It's the one that will determine whether you win or, or, or you don't win. How does the game end? The game ends when, the, when either of the player or when one of the players has no seed to play again. That is when the game ends. For example, for example, let's assume we have three seeds left on the board now. I play this, the opponent play, 
I play this the opponent play. I play this the opponent plays. If I drop this here now, that means that if the whatever the opponent plays, no other seed will move to my side. That means that the game has ended. So the next thing is for the two players to now start arranging their seeds one by one. Four four in each row. The seeds that ended will be left with them. So any player that has more seats will be the winner of the game and this is how it is being done once you've won a game a stone probably a stone a pebble or an object will place in front of the loser to indicate that that person has actually lost a match it has actually lost a game if they lose another one another one will place in front of them this are another one will place in front of them but the moment the player wins one probably they play seven and the uh the player lost six out of that seven if the player wins the seventh one then all the stones will be removed from them in front of them the stones will be removed from their front to indicate that they've actually won one and one will be placed in front of the loser one will be placed in front of the loser so that is why that is how the game wins is being counted this is a fascinating game and it's a game that actually requires a lot of skills especially calculating skills so you have to be able to you know to be able to predict your opponent to some extent so that you can know how to corner them
All right, Mr. Mike, this is where this is where I was born and bred. This is the house where I was born and bred. We actually rented this uh, this room. This is our room where I was uh, raised. And uh, this is the backyard where I was raised. The backyard. And this is our window. That's our neighbor's house over there. Funny? This is the bathroom where we used to take our bath. You can see. The board that we just saw there was actually bought in 1996 when I was in primary school. That was the year that that board game was actually bought. I want to use this uh, medium to thank everyone that has been contributing to the GoFundMe. I, I don't know. I don't know how to thank you guys. You've been wonderful in our lives. I thank you very, very much. You are doing wonderful. You are helping a lot of families that are actually in distress right now. A lot of souls, a lot of families are actually praying for you because they are living fine now. They are able to feed their families simply because of your assistance and your generosity. We are very, very grateful. We are very, very thankful to you guys. And those that are still going to contribute later, we can't tell you how much everything you are doing, how, how much it actually means to us. Thank you very much. We will forever be grateful to you guys. Thank you.